All right, Shalom. Real Hebrew Israelites coming week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of American society. We're going to start off giving all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekagadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders in GMS and brothers that sincerely doing this work. And a few sisters that are listening and learning and being obedient to their husbands. This is the brother Matazawa Yunya, a.k.a. Mataz. And Yanagaya. So we just going to hop into this quick sit down, man. Basically how they keep lying on the narratives really to put the Israelite men down because they really want to destroy us from being a people. And they lie and got these um, false statistics out here saying that we don't be in our children life. And that's a damn lie. We the main ones who actually want our children and want to be in their lives and want to take care of our children. But you got all these these allegations that they make up to try to put us down because really it's to to to, to remove the Israelite men out the house like it like the uh, Pharaoh did and uh, try to do an Exodus. Matter of fact, grab that real quick. That Exodus, uh, what is it? When he tried to kill all the firstborn, what is it, in one? You know what I'm talking about, right? I think it's in one. Yeah. Read that for me. Yeah. Con, this is Exodus 1 and 16. It says, and he said, when ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew woman, and see them upon the stools. If it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. Exactly. They wanted to kill off the men. Because they know that the men is the one that bring on the bloodline, the lineage, the culture, how we supposed to be. If you try to remove the men out the house, how these children going to learn how to grow, how to conduct themselves? You know, how to uh, become a man of the Lord. How they going to learn it if nobody don't teach them? You have to be taught, you know? Go That's right. Hey, and he, Esau even knows that. Because Esau keeps their bloodline, like the elites, they keep their bloodline within themselves, you know? And they get pissed off. That's why they get pissed off when they, when they, the daughters, the women deal with Jake, you know? Because they know that they want to keep their, because the, the lineage goes back to the fathers. Yep. Um, verse 17 says, but the midwives feared most high and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them but saved the men children alive and the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto them why have ye done this thing and have saved the men children alive and the midwives said unto Pharaoh because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women for they are lively and are delivered er the midwives come in unto them therefore the most high dealt with dealt well with the midwives and the people multiplied and waxed very mighty exactly man we we match mighty you know we we because we grew as a nation you know because at first we was the fewest and then the lord made us the abundance level as the stars of heaven so what's the perfect thing to get rid of the stars of heaven get rid of the fathers remove them out of these children lives Get them far away from them. Let them become degenerates. Let them become valefessions. Let them do anything wicked of, of, of and above instead of being an Israelite. Mm -hmm. So that's what they did. You got something to say? Uh, real quick, and, and um, that's another thing. Why in modern day they have these uh these what's this called um the plant parent plant the parent planhood or parent yeah be a parent planhood. Those you know basically now these uh, women could uh uh. uh Abort the babies, mm -hmm. you know, and who's behind that? Esau, Edom, and mm -hmm. where is that all found? All these Planned Parenthood facilities at in Jake's neighborhood. Yep, that's right, man. It's, it's all full of wickedness. So I'm gonna uh, let a uh, little bit of that clip play. And really, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. I mean, not Deuteronomy 30 and 7. The curses are being reversed, but the curses in Deuteronomy 28 chapter says that the man will, will, will won't be in the household, man. All right, so now the curses are being reversed, man. Because now right. Jake is dealing with they women, man. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going uh, to let this go a little bit of this video. Let the video play. Regular people and on the media and in TV and movies that uh, African-American dads just don't stick around. And you might have heard this, in fact, not just from conservatives, from liberals as well. Well, it turns out that is just another myth of American politics. <laughs> Yeah. 
So here's the thing. There is some uh, information out there, statistics, that make it seem like that is true. And that is what a lot of this belief is based on. The fact that uh, the CDC said back in 2013 that in nearly 72% of births to non-Hispanic black women, the mothers were unmarried. And uh, that sort of information is used to underlie basically like, everything that hypothetically the government could do to benefit this population. The answer is the dads just aren't around. The families are split up. They're not actually doing anything. Although, when you actually look into the day-to-day -day interactions of African-American dads with their kids, they are not just meeting other groups, they are in fact exceeding them. Now, let's bring up this chart and you're going to see examples of this. So, um, the, on the left you have fathers living with their children, on the right fathers not living with their children. Now, how involved is each group in these different categories? So in terms of they fed or ate meals with their children daily, by five points, black dads are actually more likely to do that than white dads and more likely than Hispanic dads. In terms of bathing their kids, again, significantly more likely. That is, uh, they're just barely beaten out and playing with children to white dads, but 0.5, uh, probably margin of error, um, more likely to read to their children daily. Those are the ones actually living with their children. But the, the criticism is often is the issue is that they're just, they're just not living with their children. But you see on the right, even the black dads not living with their children are again more likely to actually do these activities, in some cases fairly more likely, um, than the, the white and Hispanic dads are. So it seems like if we're gonna continually say that the problems in this community is that they're just not around, we should probably have to square that with this data from regular people and on the media oh, and in TV. So yeah, man, so basically like they want, cause who is the number one top tribe? The tribe of Judah. So they wanna remove the Judah because they know Judah is the one who brought the tribes back together. We the ones who united everything. Who through um Elijah, who uh ended up being John the Baptist, who ended up being El Elder Bibbins, who brought the tribes back together, brought the sticks back together, brought the fold back together. Now look, now we got brothers um, like the, the brother Yanagi, man, uh, Ephraimite. You know, you got to we got the tribes back together, man, and that's a beautiful thing. You know, through the power of your how about Shimmy I was shot. Cause this is all the Lord's doing in his works, man. You know, so everything, all them lies that the bull crap that these people be saying, it's just is is really Esau being with his witchcraft, which is um that Isaiah ten and one. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, that right grievousness which they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widow may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. This is exactly what they did to destroy us as a people. But guess what? The Lord is bringing it back. And now you are seeing all these numbers of how, 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 how evolved we into our children lives because what? We're building our nation back. And the most people who are um, evolving um, their people back is men that's uh, waking up to the truth. Just, just as much as uh, men that don't really know too much of the truth, but they so kind of conscious right. to things, you know. Cause what the elect is waking up. The mm -hmm. Lord is bringing a bringing the nation back. You in, you got some real quick. Uh, Cause I'm uh, quote the uh, Habakkuk. You know, it says uh, he oppressed a man and even his heritage. You know, roughly paraphrasing. So this man. No, it's Micah. 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 It's like yeah. You know. So this man knows hey, what he's doing is, is, is affecting our household, man. You know, here we're still in slavery. We still got to make ends meet. We got to make, we got to work. You know, we got bills to pay. We got things to do, you know, but then you got our women against us. Mm -hmm. So when we go out there to try to make ends meet, the women over here talking shit, trying, oh, we, uh, you don't spend enough time with the kids or you don't do, but we doing everything. We do everything for our kids, man. Yep. You know, hey, the Israelite men actually do take care of their kids, man. Mm -hmm. But we in captivity. So this man oppresses us in each and every way and every platform he can. Mm -hmm. So it, it makes a little, it, it, scripture says that we, don't, we won't even enjoy our children, man. Yep, yep. And that and that and that's and that's that's not right, man. Matter of fact, no, since you saw those there, man. Yeah, and since you quoted the Michael, then we get it. And real quick, I was I was wa I was watching the movie Avatar, the first one, the one that came out like in 2011, whatever. Yeah, kind. Of. And um, they they tra they they transformed Buddy, they transferred Buddy's mind conscience into the Avatar body, and when the when that body, that person, the Edomite, slept with the Avatar, the woman, the her brother was like. You don't tell me you made it with this man. 
She said it's already done. He because he knew like he's like that. He's not one of us. Mm-hmm. He goes, how can you mate with this man? <laughs> he's mm-hmm. a, they were calling him an alien. Mm-hmm. You know, because he was a heathen nation, man. He wasn't because that a hey, avatar they were uh, spiritually dead, man. That's right. That's right. Even the movies tell you that, man. That's right. This so I'm uh, since you quoted that this Micah two and one. Woe to them that decree. I mean, woe to them that devise iniquity and work of evil upon their bed. When the morning is light, they practice it because it's in the power of their hand. And they cover fields and take them by violence, and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Hey, scripture talks about how they lose sleep unless they cause one to fall. Hey, this man does is the, the master of disaster, man. He knows what he's doing, and that's why he's trying to oppress the Israelite man. And really, what keeps these households in order is the Israelite man. That's why the, these kids are a lot of these carjackings and shootings are, is done by thirteen-year-old kids, man. You know, and where, why is that? It's because they took the Israelite because their fathers probably locked up doing life. Uh-huh. Hey, the brother brought out the Isaiah ten. You know, they're doing life uh, for for shit because that's how you know you go, go according to the scriptures. It, it, that shit is um, unrighteous to give a man uh, twenty-five years to life, two life sentences. Yep. You know, there's 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 ways to go about it, and the scripture says it, man. Yeah, exactly. And another thing, they even show you in the movies, like, uh, uh, what was that, South Central, you know, the Deuces, the Deuce movie. You ever saw that movie? Mm. South Central, you got to see that South Central. Oh, yeah, I've seen a long ass time ago, not recently. When he, uh, his son ended up becoming a gangbanger, his mama was doing all these different dudes on, on drugs. She wasn't taking care of his son. Really ended up getting put in a uh, in an out home because he was stealing and robbing, mm-hmm. carjacking, yep. taking um, the radios out the car. That he was what no more than like 12, 11 years old. But then as soon as his father get out, he like you said, he was locked up because he was in the, in, in helping out this stupid gang that never did nothing for him. Right. And they and they basically he just had to serve all this time. And then he realized like that, like what he did was stupid because he didn't have his father in his life. And he realized, hey, man, we got to break this cycle. He wanted his son back in his life. And his uh, homie, I forgot his fuck, Ray Ray, Ray Ray. Ray Ray was trying to um, keep his son under his wing, getting him doing nigga shit. He like, no, nah, man, give me my son back. That's all I want. He like, you owe me. He said, you told me you owe me. You got all this money. I helped you when I took out that, that top game member. You you got rich. You you been you took over every block and all that. You the leader now. All I want, all I want is my son. That's all you owe me. You don't owe me nothing else. I don't want your money. I don't want nothing. I just want my son so I can raise him right and get him on the right track. And then he he let him get his son. That's all he owed him. Because he, he like, man, I deserve time. I did all this shit. And didn't get yep. nothing for it, but this um fucking time that I lost with my child, that could have been getting raised under me, and his mother ended up being doing some um some fuck shit, man, right. and not raising that child right, and that's that happened in a lot of single mother homes, yeah, you know, and they already said in the statistics that the um the, the children are better off with the father. Yep. That's in a lot of homes. Why? Because these mothers is raising these vile affection children. They become. They want to be women now. Mm-hmm. They don't know how to be men. Who gonna raise them and teach them how to be a man besides a man? That's right. Especially a man of the Lord. Mm-hmm. You know who gonna teach them boundaries? Who gonna teach them uh, right from wrong? Who gonna teach them not to do certain things? Who gonna actually teach them responsibilities? It's, it's us, man. Because he, he thought teaches our women to rebel against us. And then when we out the household or even inside the household, in and out, hey, they, they talk shit. You know, it, it happens all around Jake's neighborhood. The women is talking down, talking to the fucking man in front of their children. So now the children got thoughts and got type of spirits on them thinking some way to, about their fathers, man, when it's not even true. Yeah, exactly. It be the mother. Putting that spirit on them. And Esau puts that spirit on the woman. You exactly. know, making them... Uh, twerking on headlights at red lights, <laughs> all types of shit. Exactly. Fuck a, gives a fuck about a nigga, all types of shit, man. And then if you say something about a, a, a damn female, these damn females, you say something about them, you you gonna get ridiculed, you gonna get uh, talked about, all types of stuff, because they created these yep. females to be a slave master to you. 
These females are literally a slave man. You hit a woman, you going to jail. You, 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 but she could beat on you. She could slap you. She could attack you, crack the whip on you. That's a slave master. That's what the slave master did. You know, the look, li- right? Look at Dana White. He about he catching a lot of black la- uh, backlash because he uh, slapped his wife back. He didn't slap her first. She's the one that initiated the fi- the first strike. Yep. Now he's now he's uh, sending apology videos and it wasn't right. When really he didn't do anything wrong. Exactly. That just shows you that they created the, our, our damn fucking females against us yeah. to be a slave master. Because what happened when you attacked the slave master? You got punished for it. And that's what happened. You attacked the, that, this, this modern day slave master over you, which is this damn fucking female they put over us. Now you're going to jail. You're going to get locked up. You know, Spiritual or something's going to happen. You know? Um, Spiritual buck breaking, modern day buck breaking. Back then, they would take the male, the male, the father out the household, and rape them, man. Exactly, man. Um, you know, they do the same thing now. They take the male out the household, they rape his ass, they give him a hundred, hundred years life. You know, mm-hmm. lock his ass up. That's right. This is Isaiah three and twelve. As my people, children are are their oppressor, and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which led thee, caused thee to err, and destroyed the ways of thy path. And who did that? Ultimately, these Edomites. They got our children being oppressed, oppressing us. We getting oppressed by our own children because you get put on the child support and all these things. Mm-hmm. Or you or you get married to a woman, she divorce you, she take everything from you. So now you're being oppressed because you having children. Or, and then you got her ruling over us, which is being a slave master over us, man. And you it's know? out of order. First yeah. Corinthians fourteen forty says, "Let everything be done decently and in order." First Corinthians eleven chapter. You know who's the head of the woman? It's the man. But like the brother said, he hey, hey, saw a hey, reverse the roles, man. Now mm-hmm. I got the woman thinking like a man and the man thinking like a little bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the scriptures, everything written in four times, written for our learning. It teaches you how to raise your children, man. Mm-hmm. That's the and that and that's the that's the point, man. You can't even discipline your children now because you, you get you get locked up if you hit your children. The scripture talks about uh uh uh, uh um, basically whoop the uh, uh, hit them on the thigh, mm-hmm. you know, and you save their soul from hell. Roughly paraphrasing the book of Proverbs, mm-hmm. you know, the, it, it, in hell like conditions, man. A lot of these kids make bad decisions because they don't get ass whoopings no more, man. Mm-hmm. And because it's, the parents are scared to give the ass whooping because the kid can turn around and trick on them. Or, and then now there's a whole DCFS knocking on their door. Mm-hmm. Separating the family once again. Exactly, man. So they, they always look to separate the family. They always look to do that. What that was on Deuteronomy 28. Is this the one, the one I want? No, it's another one. Yeah, here we go. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 41. Thou shall be got sons and daughters, but thou shall not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. So, yeah, man, our children is in modern-day captivity. They could take them from you and all of that. Yep. So this is what they want to do. That's how they try to remove and start these lies like we're not in our children's lives, which is bullshit. We we want to be in our children's life. We want them a part of us. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't want them to get caught up in this wickedness, in this world. Right. You know, we want them to be be with us, man. So that's the whole point. But this this wicked world promote other promote otherwise. Yeah. You know, and it's and it's cool because it's our punishment too. We and we understand, but our punishment about to be up. And now we about to get our power back, which is Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh and we're going to put a foot in you damn devil's ass, man. That's right. For all of this wickedness you have done, you have to pay. That's right. You know, and you're not going to get away with it, man. So, I mean, you, you ain't got no priest or anything. Mm. <laughs> kind of, well, I'm going ahead and close this out. With that, we're going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Double honest to our apostles and elders and GMS and brothers that sincerely doing this work. And the few sisters that are listening and learning and being obedient to their husbands. Keep pushing and doing the work. Shalom, Baraka Thumb, and a Baba Ball. Baba Ball.